Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. On behalf of the Tacoma City Council and my council colleagues and the employees of the City of Tacoma, I'm delighted to join you this evening to celebrate the spirit of entrepreneurship and innovation in the great city of Tacoma. Before I begin, I would be remiss if I did not thank all the volunteers who put forth this effort. So on behalf of the city of Tacoma, thank you so much. <laughs> 2012 was a year filled with challenges, but we never lost sight of our vision. To be a progressive, attractive, international city that is well regarded for its diverse population and natural setting. And what exactly does that mean? It means we strive to have neighborhoods that are safe, clean, and attractive. It means that from our business districts to our downtown core and waterfront, we have a diverse and sustainable economy. It means that we who work at City Hall never forget that we are public servants first, and we must live up to the ideal of a high-performing open government. But government alone cannot accomplish all of these things. It means that we must all come together, understanding that sitting on the sidelines is not gonna cut it anymore. It means that we each take full responsibility for our role in shaping what Tacoma can become, and that we all work together to make Tacoma the best city possible. It means that we, Tacoma, must be united. As many of you know, we had a challenging budget season last year. We made difficult decisions but at the end, we are going to put our city on a sustainable financial path. Our great city manager, T.C. Brodnix, and his team have set the stage for more transparent government by going out to the neighborhoods and finding out what people want. They visited various neighborhoods and collected input from nearly a thousand residents. I applaud our city manager for his leadership and the work that he is doing to reshape City Hall to align with council priorities and more efficient delivery of services. Now the past several months have been focused on the city's budget, but I want to point out that we've had some great triumphs in 2012. Ron Thomas, the president of the University of Puget Sound, wrote an eloquent article about Tacoma. And here's what he said. He said, Tacoma is a city on the move, and you can feel it. And he's absolutely correct. Last fall, Tacoma was one of four major cities in the nation selected to participate in the Urban Land Institute's Rose Center Fellowship, a year-long program intended to help participating cities with development. This March, the Rose Center staff and consultants, along with representatives from Hartford, Connecticut, Austin, Texas, Louisville, Kentucky, will visit Tacoma to engage in discussions with city staff and stakeholders on how we can leverage existing assets and attract private investment to the MLK corridor. Here in our city, there are many great business leaders who continuously raise the standard in their industries. They are small business owners. They are entrepreneurs. They are creating new ventures with forward thinking and innovation. They are innovators like web developer Miguel Friginal, the brainchild behind Mystery Coconut, a company he has grown into a multi-million dollar international corporation. Along with another web developer, he created the mobile game app Casey's Contraptions that was acquired by Angry Birds creator Rovio and re-released as Amazing Alex. There are forward thinkers like Eric Hanberg, this local author of four books, one of which is a fundraising guide for nonprofits, has sold more than 5,000 copies cumulatively on Amazon last year. And he has two more books in the works for 2013. There are entrepreneurs like Chandler O'Leary, proprietor of Anagram Press, and Jessica Spring, proprietor of Springtime Press, who teamed up to shed light on women's history through their nationally renowned Dead Feminist series. If there's a common thread among these entrepreneurial artists, is that they're setting the example of how to use new technology and online marketplaces to expand their reach. Now last year in Tacoma, 1,017 new businesses opened, and each of these employers joins a host of existing businesses to improve our climate. We will see more new businesses open in 2013, such as Shake, 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 the newest venture from Chef Gordon and Steve Nacarado in the Stadium District. It's important that we continue to create avenues for these businesses to compete and flourish. 
And one way we do this is through our Tacoma Means Business Monday Mixers at the Hotel Murano. Every quarter, the city of Tacoma convenes businesses, owners, entrepreneurs, and community leaders in a casual setting to empower, educate, and introduce them to key contacts, the latest business practices, and guidance from industry experts. In many ways, it's matchmaking for small business. Last year, the city hosted two successful events, one focused on cybersecurity and the other focused on government contracting, each to provide opportunities for local businesses to grow and expand. Now, in order for us to continue steering Tacoma forward, we must have a strong foundation and a sustainable tax base. And it's also important that we celebrate local businesses who've been here for a long time. This year, Brown and Haley celebrates 100 years as a primary independently owned employer in Tacoma. Not only are we proud that Brown and Haley products are made in Tacoma, we are proud that this product is shipped around the world with a stamp that says made in Tacoma. Now a city can never grow without a focus on economic development. And we in Tacoma cannot think of ourselves in isolation or in a vacuum. We in Tacoma are part of the Seattle, Tacoma, Bellevue market. And here's one fact. According to the 2010 census, the Bellevue, Tacoma, Seattle region grew at 13%. But the city of Tacoma itself only grew at 2.5%. We're not growing fast enough. And in the context of business, here's what it tells us. If you want your local business to thrive and not just survive, you have to market outside the city of Tacoma. If you have a business that is here, reach out to customers in Puyallup, in Seattle, in UP, in Bellevue, and beyond. If you have the opportunity to ship something overseas, put up a website and go international. But if you want to grow and survive, there is a world of customers outside of Tacoma. We love going local, but we want our local businesses to think globally and beyond our own borders. Now it's great to see how Go Local has increased its membership to so many new members. It's also great to see that the Tacoma Pierce County Chamber of Commerce has been busy recruiting as well, and they've added 513 new members since 2011. Anyone who says that our business community is dormant doesn't know what's happening. Dig in, find out. People are working very, very hard to make this a great business climate. Now one thing is also important that I mentioned earlier, and that is international connections. 2012 was a great year for Tacoma Sister Cities program. This past October, Tacoma welcomed a delegation from Biot, France, that's on the south of France, the Riviera, and included the Honorable Mayor Jean-Pierre Dermy and an acclaimed glass artist, Antoine Pirini, to participate in a dialogue about our ties in the city to glass art and to sign an agreement to making Biot our 12th sister city. Now, I've been invited to bring a delegation there in April to visit them, and I may have to take them up on that offer. <laughs> this year also promises to be an active one for the Sister Cities program, kicking off the 11th annual Sister Cities International Film Festival at the beloved Blue Mouse Theater. Tacoma will also hold its first International Sister Cities Student Leadership Conference in conjunction with our public school system on February 26th. This conference will immerse over 100 high school students in discussion about how Tacoma is dependent on trade and what it can do for local businesses. Our Japanese Garden Project at Point Defiance will be featured in the Pan Pacific Conference at the International Sister Cities Conference this summer. So anyone who tells you that Tacoma is not an international city is not thinking big enough. We are in fact on the international stage. Finally, we talk about revitalizing Tacoma. And the word infrastructure isn't exactly the most glamorous term, but it's very important to our success. On Friday, February 1st, the Murray Morgan Bridge will be open to traffic. We want to invite everyone to come out and join us for a two-day event celebrating the 100th anniversary of one of our greatest historical treasures. On February 14th, that's Valentine's Day, at 6 p.m., bring your sweetheart or find one, we invite you to help us light the bridge by signing up to participate in a special 5K run or walk event in coordination with the Tacoma City Marathon. And then at February 15th at 10 a.m., we're going to hold the official rededication ceremony for this local landmark. Recently, the City of Tacoma approved the sale of waterfront property to allow Pacific Seafood Company to move forward with a $1.5 million investment to expand Johnny's Seafood. 
This is going to bring more commerce to the city, create jobs, and continue to improve public access along the Thier Foss Waterway. We're also starting to make strides in this area by giving downtown Tacoma a facelift with the Pacific Avenue Streetscape Project, stated, slated for completion at the end of this year. Now with any construction project, there can be inconvenience and pain, but when you all see the finished product, you are going to be very, very pleased with the result. Point Ruston continues on its path to become a destination along Commencement Bay. Anchored by the new Copper Line apartments that are set to open this spring, this billion dollar investment of a former copper site will have a great mix of amenities from professional office space and hotel accommodations to restaurants, entertainment, and retail for residents to enjoy. And it's going to be a six mile water walk that will connect Point Ruston with Point Defiance. Some other efforts to mention. In the South Tacoma neighborhood, Alaska Street Roadway Project spans from 56th Street to 74th Street and was completed making it the city's first Green Streets project. Not only did it improve the view corridor for residents, cyclists, and pedestrians, it has beautified the entire neighborhood. Tacoma's Central Neighborhood District will see improvements take shape along South Sprague Street as part of a gateway project that will feature new landscaping and visual buffers. Additionally, the city will continue to lead efforts in cleaning up our neighborhoods. Last year, the city, in partnership with various neighborhood groups, spearheaded 18 community cleanups across the city and hauled away more than 470 tons of debris. And we're planning more in 2013. Now, one thing I do know for sure is that Tacoma loves the arts, and we have a strong passion for them. The arts community is a vital part of our economic success, and we must continue to preserve projects, programs, and facilities just like the successful effort to save the beloved Blue Mouse Theater. Through a Kickstarter fundraising campaign initiated by the Tacoma Neighborhoods Together, we actually saved this amazing historic jewel. And this is actually, yes, this is And now we have the distinction of having the longest running movie house in the state of Washington. And with the help of the money raised, we will soon transition into the digital age. Thanks to the generosity of the Hopp family, the Tacoma Art Museum is set to expand so it can house a rare collection of Western art. And be on the lookout in the next few months because you're going to hear about Professor Dawood Ray, an acclaimed photographer from New York, who's going to work with the University of Washington Tacoma on a very special project thanks to the 1% for Arts program for the state of Washington. As we continue to grow our city and have it become a city of choice, we must emphasize the importance of a good school system. And while the focus is often on jobs and employment, our ultimate goal is to make sure that young people become productive members of our society who contribute positively to our community. But there's also an economic benefit to having a good school system. People who are looking to buy homes make decisions about where to purchase a house based on the reputation and the quality of schools. If we want more people to choose to live in Tacoma, we need a bigger selection of good schools. And we're starting to get there. Tacoma Public School System has the designation of being the first innovation zone in the state of Washington, offering innovative choices because we know that one size does not fit all. This May, the Science and Math Institute will graduate its first senior class, and new statistics show that students who are now enrolled at Lincoln Center high school within a high school are graduating at a 98% rate in 2012. <laughs> We've also added middle school sports back into the mix. And this is really important for a lot of reasons. We in Tacoma have a gang reduction initiative trying to prevent gang involvement. And the more we're able to keep kids busy with extracurricular activities, the better for them. These athletic programs provide low-cost, accessible opportunities for students to complement their academics, build character, sportsmanship, promote fitness and healthy lifestyles, and offer another way to keep them busy. Franklin D. Roosevelt once said, we cannot always build the future for our youth, but we can build our youth for the future. And that starts with equipping them with a high-quality education that is well-rounded and includes the arts and extracurricular activities. At the foundation of all the points I've touched on this evening is our great city, its assets, and the need to come together. So whether you're a local independently owned business, a large corporation, a member of the chamber, 
the Economic Development Board, a sister city committee, a business district, the World Trade Center, or the Port of Tacoma. You are part of an economic development ecosystem with interdependent parts that should complement each other. A safe, clean, attractive city, good schools, and an educated workforce are part of this system. The arts, business, and labor are part of this system. And if we don't work together, it can all fall apart. It is up to each and every one of us to do our part to make our community and neighborhoods places we are proud to call home. We must be willing to get into the trenches to create a positive link between city government and our community. We must be willing to do our part and in some cases make sacrifices for the greater good. So tonight, I ask all of you, what will be your civic contribution in 2013? Will you sit on the sidelines or will you get involved? What will be your role in making Tacoma a better city? 2013 will be an exciting year for Tacoma and it will be public and private partnerships that will move us forward. And when you think about the things that are happening in Tacoma and what we have as assets, let me just remind you of some of the things that are great about the city. 43 miles of shoreline, a convention center, a Tacoma dome, unique neighborhoods, a focus on local businesses, valuing entrepreneurship, a city that values diversity, the arts, the opera, the symphony, the ballet, the theater. If anyone tells you that things aren't happening in Tacoma, they need to visit or they haven't gotten out much lately. So tonight as I close, I want to say this to you. Henry Ford once said, coming together is the beginning. Keeping together is progress. Working together is success. I believe we can make it happen if we, Tacoma, are united. Thank you very much, everybody.